I've asked ChatGPT to write me a new WordPress plugin completely from scratch, and as you can see, it's doing it right now. This new AI can help you do things in WordPress that you normally can't do if you don't know how to code. It can generate some code to customize this text on your WooCommerce checkout page. It can add a new product label to new products. It can even code a whole plugin that adds a custom fee to the shopping cart. And in this video, I will show you how I've used ChatGPT to do all of this and more. This tool will greatly improve the things that you can do with WordPress, and it will enable you to learn WordPress much faster and much deeper. So I have my WooCommerce store, and let's find something that we want to edit. This is my checkout page, and let's say that we want to edit this billing details text, or perhaps this first name label. This page is built using Elementor, but this is only a shortcode so we can't edit any of these fields right from here. The only way to do it is by using a piece of custom code. So let's try to get ChatGPT to write the code for us. Just go to openai.com, then scroll down and go to ChatGPT. Again scroll down and try ChatGPT. You can log in using your Google account, and I will do that right now. So now we are logged in and we can start talking to the AI. So for example, I can ask it to write me some code to change the first name and last name labels on the WooCommerce checkout page. Let's see what it comes up with. So it's starting to write this code that's going to overwrite the name and last name fields. And funnily enough, it overwrote them with as it appears on your ID. <laughs> but it's telling us some useful stuff as well, like we can add this to our functions.php file to make it work. So let's try to do that. We can copy this code and then go back to our WordPress dashboard and from appearance, we can go to the Steam file editor. From here, we can open up functions.php just like it instructed us and we can scroll all the way down and we can paste that code. Now I'm simply gonna write your first name and your last name without the as it appears on your ID part that the chatbot added. Then we can update our file and let's go to our checkout page and refresh it. And now we get our new labels in here, your last name and your first name. So that's great, but next let's say that we also want to change this country label. So let me go back to ChatGPT and I will ask it to also change the country label. And it gives us the same code, but now we have this country field. So we can copy it, and again we can paste it inside WordPress. And I will simply name mine, your country. Again update the file, go to the checkout page, and let's make sure that it works. And it does, we now have the your country label. So ChatGPT was able to create these code snippets for us based on what we told it. And it remembers what we spoke about before because we can add to it and it will update the code accordingly. It's not perfect, but it certainly has the potential to help you learn some of these things much faster. Next up, let's click this new thread and we will try to make it do something a bit harder. I will tell it to write me a WordPress code that adds a label to products that have been published in the last 24 hours. Alright, so this is pretty impressive. It wrote a code that's gonna add the label to our product titles on the shop page. And it tells us that it assumed that we want to add this label to the product cards on the shop page. It's using this filter right here, and everything looks good to me, I'm pretty sure that this label works. It even gave us some CSS code to style it and have it look better. But I don't want my labels to show on the shop page, I want them on the single product page. So I'm going to say, place the label on the single product page, just below the product title. Let's see if it adjusts it. Alright, so this looks pretty good, let's copy the code. And let me show you what I mean. Back on my store, I'm going to want to go to a product page, so I'll just open up this one, and I told it to add a label right below this title. So let's go to our functions.php file, and let's copy that new code. Update the file, and there's actually something that I want to edit here first, because it's gonna show this on products that have been published in the past 24 hours. So if the publishing date is less than one day ago, it's going to show our label. But I don't have any products that have been published in the last 24 hours. So instead of one day, I'm gonna make this 90 days, and then I'm gonna update the file. Now let's go to my product page and refresh it. 
And we get our label, and it's right here. It's not quite below the product title like we wanted. So maybe let's go back to ChatGPT, and let's try to tell it to move it further down. So move this label further down, under the title. So this is really really cool, because it's telling us exactly what it changed. In this code, the function is hooked into the product summary action with a priority of 20. So it's describing the priority that is stated in here. And it tells you exactly what this does. By default, the title is displayed with a priority of 10. So if we change it to 20, it's gonna display further down. So with this information, we can go back to WordPress, and instead of 1, we will make our priority 20, just like the chatbot recommended. Then update the file. And let's refresh the page again to see what that did. So the priority of 20 moved it all the way down here. But let's go back and we can try a priority of 10. Then update the file and let's see what that did. It's still too far down, so let's play around with it. Let's make it 5. Again refresh the page. And now it's right above our title. I think that's good enough. And the chatbot was smart enough to let us know what we need to change to get the desired result. Next let's see if it can help us add some styling to it. So I will say make the text have a green background with a radius of 4 pixels and I also want white text and some space around it. And the answer that it gave us is not exactly what I expected, but it's still helpful enough. It's telling us to insert this CSS code for the product label class. Let's see if we can make it write this CSS as inline. So I will say, can you write this as inline CSS inside the original code? And this is not what we wanted, so maybe we can click try again and let's see if it comes up with something better. Alright, so after trying again a couple of times, this is exactly what we wanted. It's even telling us that this is not the best solution, but it's gonna be workable. And this is exactly what I wanted, because I just want something fast. So I'm going to copy this new part of the code, and I'm going to replace my old code inside WordPress. Now we have our style in here, and we can update the file. And let's see how it looks. We can refresh it. And we have our green background with the 4 pixel border radius, just like we asked it. We could make some further adjustments if we want, like we could give it some more padding on both sides, like this. And then of course we can make it look exactly how we want by adjusting all of this, but ChatGPT provided a great start. Alright, so we were able to get it to add labels to our single product page. Next, let's have it make something even harder. I will again go to a new thread, and this time let's see if it can write a full plugin for us. So on my store, I offer two payment methods, cash on delivery and Stripe. But if the customer chooses cash on delivery, I want to add a $5 fee to their total. So let's get ChatGPT to write that plugin for us. And I think the best way to do it would be to have it write the code for our plugin first. So I'll say, write me some WordPress code that adds a $5 shipping fee to the COD payment option. Alright, so we generated this code. First, we're gonna get the customer's chosen payment method. And then if that payment method is COD, then we add a $5 fee to their card. So we can copy this code and let's test it inside our functions.php file. Update the file, then refresh our checkout page. And because we have cash on delivery selected, now we get this COD shipping fee of $5 added. Perfect, but now let's say that we only want this fee to be added if the address of the customer is outside California. So add the fee only if the shipping address is outside California. So it generates an updated version that applies the fee only if the address is outside California. It gets the customer's shipping state and if it's not California then it adds our surcharge. So let's copy this new code and let's test it out inside functions.php. Update the file, then go back to the checkout and refresh it. So now our state is California and we don't have the fee added. But let's change the state and now our COD shipping fee is added. Let's go back to California and our fee is removed. Perfect. So now let's see if we can turn this into a plugin. I'll simply ask, can you turn this into a plugin? 
So it adjusted this code in a way that we can use to create a small plugin and we can simply copy this code and let's make a new plugin real quick. We can just make a new folder and I'll call it COD fee. Then inside it I will make a new text document and I will call it COD fee.php. Make sure the extension is .php. Then edit the file and we can paste our code inside here. If you want to change the name of your plugin or the description you can do it up here. Also, if you want to add your name as the author, you can do it like this. Or of course, you can ask ChatGPT to do it for you. So let's save this file and now I will make it into a zip archive. Just add to archive and select zip. Now we have our new plugin here and we can upload it to our website. So let's go to it and first I will want to remove my code from the functions.php file because it's no longer needed. Then go to plugins and add new. And let's upload our new plugin. I can simply drag it inside here and then install now. Click activate plugin and our COD shipping fee plugin is now activated. We can also go to the plugin file editor and if you ever need to edit your plugin just select it in here. So this is an easy way to make a super simple plugin by using ChatGPT. Next I'll want to use ChatGPT to quickly learn how to code more complex things for WordPress. Like making a custom Elementor widget from scratch or perhaps making a Gutenberg block. I'll make videos about it so be sure to subscribe for more content just like this. I will see you in the next one.